but Manu will be um, facilitating our retrospective today. Thank you, Manu, for doing that. Yeah, sure. Thanks for inviting me. I, I like to do these. Yay, cool. Yeah, they are fun to do. I, I, used to like, I like them to do them too. Okay, so just a reminder, sprint planning will happen tomorrow. So just tag your issues next sprint. Uh, and sort of uh, think about what you want to do in the next uh, two weeks. And then to think about what the actions to improve from last week were, um, something around projects looking for consulting. Probably we had some more conversations along this line, but now concrete actions and planning for higher outreach for educational events. I don't know uh, how we did with that. I think uh, Wonka might have been the one to, uh, to add that. Okay, and maybe I'll pass to you, Manu, to lead us through the, uh, the retrospective board and the retrospective. Yeah, sure. Um, can someone please share the screen retrospective mirror board? Okay, and uh, yeah, while well, people get here, if you go to the screen retrospective board, there you go. You can prepare. And we're going to start with um, what went well. So, yeah, I mean, what went well for you, for your working group, something you saw in the community, something you want to celebrate, something you want to share. Here's where I'll post it and put it there. I know people are, people are joining. Welcome to whoever joined, we're barely starting the what went well section of our screen retrospective. And um, yeah, I'm gonna start, uh, I'm gonna start the timer for four minutes, starting. I think we probably have enough time to have five minutes today. Okay, cool. Then we And this will is the funnest part to think about all the things that went well. All right, then we will do five minutes because we're feeling bold. Okay, let's go. And I'll stop screen, uh, sharing the board, but let me know when you, we need to share it again when we start reading them. Yeah, sure. Is anyone having trouble getting into the board? It doesn't seem as if there's too many people in here just yet. I'm in there, but still trying to figure it out. <laughs> okay, cool. If you click Loading on quite slow for me. Yeah, if you click on any of the um, profiles of people on the upper right hand corner, you will be led to where they are, and everyone's on the right place. So or most people are. No, they're not. No, they're back. Okay, we still have four minutes to write down what went well. So let's get to it.
For those who are just joining, we are on our screen retrospective board. The link to the agenda is on the Stewart's thread channel. Uh, we still have about two minutes left to write down what went well. One minute left. Let's get our final thoughts on there. Cool. So those were five. Yeah, if you if you still um, working on something, put it uh, at the bottom. It's by no means a closing. Just moving forward, and I will ask someone to read. Who would like to take on the stage and read what went well to his friends? I can do it. Thank you. Go ahead. Um, Juan, well and well. Juan review sessions. Transparency financial audit was so illuminated. Think with Nate on changes to Gitbook. Think with Mo Manu on how to do forum posts. We started doing uh, the welcoming messages. Proposal in better to place plus one. Rewards asking communities to help uh, for help. Teamwork. Activation of praise was not hard. Went through it. Went through it smoothly. Rewards are about to launch. Outreach to praise activation started. More discussion about revenue models. First bi-weekly newsletter went out very good. Engagement almost non subscribes. ABC dashboard project in the works. Nate is going to be at that at any day now. We were mentioned at CCS. Um. Can read. Transparency audit is getting shape. Aragon is interested in gravity. Gitcoin was seeking advice from gravity. First, Twitter space. Gideon's work with members' journey. Beer is on fire. Weekly updates are back. Beer engaging and recording. Lots of actions on of lot of actions on the forum. Progress on uh, Ostrom metrics. Benz is stepping up in many ways. Plans for Amsterdam came together at the last minute. Thinking better with other working groups. Manu facilitating this retro fire. Gideon onboarding, onboarding journey looks great. Everything Gideon touches. Quants and review sessions are getting into a good flow. And TE Governance Guild excited for what is coming. Back to you, man. Oh, wow. That was kind of elating. Um, that's cool. Um, well, I will start with uh, what I think went well. I think our financial audit, uh, thanks to Seppi and the transparency team, gave us a really uh, in-depth perspective on the inflows and outflows and how we can do better to make our community sustainable. Um, Communitas is developing an amazing user journey, very scripted, very nuanced. Uh, and we have Edu and Gideon to thank for that. Argon is going to transfer 6,000 wrapped eggs for gravity to consulting services. And transparency is going to help us convert it to tech tokens. 
first newsletter went out and the price points are hot. You know, we're already in December. Um, they seem to be happening on autopilot, but I know Mitch is playing Shepherd in the background. So thanks for that, Mitch. And I will, I will pass it around for people to give their opinion on what went well. So I will pass it to uh, Livia. Thanks, Manu. Um, yeah, I think it was a little bit hard to write what what went what went well in this print. Maybe it's just getting uh, like refining the 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 senses for little things that are happening and that are important. And I think it's a like a progress sprint. That's how I'm feeling it, and it feels good that we can like refine little things and. Um, put the movement there. So I'm really excited for the things that are in progress. Um, yeah, for the Governance Guild with T Academy and for the reward systems that it's the continuous work that it's getting that are better. And also for the onboarding journey, that looks great. And I will pass to Mitch. Yeah, the the quants seem to be running a lot smoother than they were. Um, the review sessions are getting super insightful. I think we've kind of figured out the formula, the RAD dashboard's working, so we have really great data to look at um, after each quant uh, period. Um, and super stoked to see the marketing ramping up for the proposal inverter, and that's like huge props to Mert and Chewy for organizing that stuff, so I mean, uh, I'm feeling great about both those things, and uh, hopefully we'll be getting payout soon for the reward system. Everyone's asking, so that's my answer. I'll pass it to Tam. I'm going to go super quick. I just uh, think everything is... I had a hard time celebrating wins starting, but then once I started flowing, like I found that I had a lot more things to write. Um, it just feels like things are moving along really well. You know, there's still a lot for us to do, but um, things are getting executed really well. I just, I, I, I'm really proud of uh, all of us actually. And I'll pass to Chewy. Uh, Chewy, not sure if uh, maybe you're not in a place where you can turn on your audio. I'll pass to Mertz. Um, for now then. Uh, thank you, Tamara. So what went well for me, uh, as Mitch said, I'm very excited about proposing inverter marketing, Chewy stepping up, and Asset Laser is also working on infographic. Thank you, guys. Uh, also, I'm very excited about reward system. Like, uh, I, I'm very looking for the tech tokens that I will get from praise. Like, it will be super cool. Uh, the thing, also, I'm very... Uh, feeling good about there's more discussion about revenue models like I think it's much needed and will like bring more vividness to uh, our commit I believe so these are the three things I would like to say and I would like to pass it uh, Tam I think you didn't go oh, you go Costa I can thank you yeah. Yeah, I didn't get it. To me, it was always like a, a, a progress sprint. I did uh, one thing with Nate on uh, the changes to the, to the kit book, because I would have not managed to do them on my own if <laughs> I needed some help. And also with uh, Mount Menu on how to do the forum posts, so we're going to start doing it like together. We split like the work in, in two. And I also started doing the welcoming messages on the uh, on the Discord. And I'm passing on to uh, Nate. He's... How was the pass today? Okay, cool. I will pass it to Edu then. Thank you, man. Um, 
there it, it's it's interesting yeah i like i i i will jump into gideon's uh wagon and i will say gideon's work the um, the the writers guild and all that stuff and all the time he's dedicating on we we have like two hours three hours conversation just to pull out the the onboarding one so i don't know i really like his commit his um his commitment um from the past weeks he has always been committed but now it's it's way more present and you can feel how present he is and i love that and then secondly i think um i, I don't know how to express it correctly in words but these retrospectives in general the concept of the scrum a methodology i don't i don't think we have appreciated enough how much we have sort of grown using this and i feel that's something that's go, that goes well every sprint and we never take the time to appreciate it so um so yeah i think that's also something that went really well and uh we'll pass it on to uh septi thanks edu yeah uh I actually want to say like it's awesome like uh, Tom joined the Amsterdam crew now it's everything super organized like we were so messy at the beginning so thank you Tom that was huge uh, and then uh, someone said uh, like there's some revenue talking going around like I would love to be loop as an observer there uh, yeah like just to see what's going on and if I can support some way like I would love to and uh, there was something else uh, I have to pass it because I do not remember and I don't want to take more time. I'll pass it to Bear. Yeah, uh, we can try Chewy again. Chewy, are you there? You are. Yes, yes. Sorry, I have really uh, bad connection today. Um, well, um, I'm I'm uh, very uh, happy about this past uh, sprint. Uh, also, because as we approach uh, the end of it, uh, some really cool tools have approached uh, the comms team because they like how we are trying to organize things but they think we can improve uh some stuff so uh also we had an approach by c like the new twitter specialist that is helping uh related projects um so yeah i i think it was a very uh, a very nice print where we where we uh just learned a bunch of stuff in 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 pumps and i'll pass it back to you tim intercepted Okay, so uh, we're done. That was everyone. And um, yeah, so now we're ready to move on with the things that we could do better. So I'm going to put the timer for five minutes and please write down things that you feel we can improve, things we can do better, things that we're lagging on. And I will start the timer right now.
We're about midway through, so two and a half more minutes. Welcome, Bruce Desk. I don't think I've, we've seen you around here. Uh, but we're doing a spring retrospective where we go over uh, the work we did over the past two weeks and the things that we did good, the things that we could do better, and actions to improve. So the link is on the uh, stewards thread, but I will send you a link uh, via DM. If you want to follow us, so you can, you're welcome to just join in. I'm good, right? Uh, cool. So the five minutes are up. If you have some more thoughts, you may put them down um, at the bottom. Uh, but for now, would someone like to volunteer to read the answers on the things that we could do better? Yeah, I could do it. Thanks, Mitch. Go ahead. Okay, could do better. Lagging on getting in-house T's to support projects and a PC token. No one has claimed funds from Concilience equals no content uploaded into it yet. Omega needs to put more value to community. Now it feels like a dead poet society where only Omega members discuss their ideas. Updating the issues more frequently. <clears throat> Nate's not a dad yet. Um, decide on reward system params. Decrease ABC tribute spread. Selling TEC service products that both TEC will gain revenue at open source development with flourish. TE DAO space like block science has done. More people helping with outreach. Uh, again, sell our TEC product services. Uh, oh, rethinking the next working group funding proposals. They will get harder to pass as the common pool dwindles. Stewards hosting orientation call. Using dwork for distributions for community tasks, add stewards. Uh, rip source cred. Define clear milestones in proposals so it's more clear to audit it. Some proposals amazingly probably look at those. As a, okay. Uh, we've normalized retroactive funding proposals. Does not feel like the right precedent to set. Distribution was rushed for March in Communitas, and we didn't get to include everyone that requested comp in the first batch. Money is being traded as public money, and we spending more than necessary sometimes. Open conversations and burnout timeout. Clarity regarding going to conferences. More time for stewards to add their milestones to the audit. This is such a great idea. I'm trying to fit it in before Friday, and that is tricky. 
Some things are running really slow because too many people are involved with limited availability. We forgot about the original proposals on the forum. Sprint plannings were supposed to make us aware of what each other is doing, but I feel like the attention spent is low there. Criticisms without proposed solutions. And back to you. Thank you. Thank you, Nick. Um, cool. Thanks. Well, now, um, I think there... we could skip the voting. Yeah, I think we could skip the voting and just go to like some some everyone shares like a minute of thoughts. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, um, is there anyone who would like to start uh, with the round of opinion sharing? If not, I would just point someone out. Five, I can four. I can start. There you go, Andrew. Thank you. Um. Yeah, I feel like we have sort of, and I don't know how to express it correctly, but we have gotten we have got on used to a certain rhythm, I f I believe, and then um, we have grown comfortable with that rhythm and and certain things, and I feel like you know it would be interesting to bring some movement to stuff. Um, I don't know how abstract I'm talking, probably um, too abstract, but. Um, I don't know. Are we, I feel like um, what what was put at the last one, criticism without proposed solution, is something that we should actively work on. And um, act, and I was the one who put up the the burnout situation, um, just for the sake, for example, of uh, of Easter or for oncoming dates and this kind of stuff where. You know, you never know if it's okay to take it out, to take out those days. You never know if it's, you know, so it's this feeling of, it will be nice to have um, some kind of conversation uh, about burnout because it's a recurrent topic and we never seem to find a way um, to deal with that. And, and even I even today, so sorry, I will take just 30 seconds. I even saw today on the forum, there is a staff kind of private, uh, private, um, category and even thought about hey why why don't i go there and just post about how i feel you know in an open letter just privately kind of thing um and yeah i feel like this is something that probably we'll be talking more but yeah that's it and i will pass it on to tam since you have your camera on yeah it's always the people with the camera get fixed first um yeah, I think, you know, if when people need days off, it's really important to take some time off, uh, plan vacations, definitely spend time with family and friends and not, um, yeah, not, I guess, not try to be 24-7, 365. Um, I think from my perspective, there's a few things that I think that, you know, maybe could have gone better, but again, they're not made. They're not such such major things. Um, I guess. I guess I'm most concerned around the proposals that, um, you know, we're we're not increasing our commons pool. That's what I'm most concerned about. We're not increasing our commons pool, and I think once that starts happening, I think I, keep, you know, mo a lot of us would feel more relaxed about all kinds of proposals, actually. Um, and then, yeah, I think that the the thing around in-house TEs and TE products and services, I think it's super interesting and I think it's definitely a model we could look at, but I don't know that we have too many in-house TEs that we could call in-house TEs. So I think it would be uh, up to someone to sort of spearhead building this, you know, attracting TEs, creating a group, uh, you know, like um, having more having more token engineers and sort of clarity around when their skills are and what they could provide for our token engineering product as a service. And I'll pass to um, Costa. I think the update conditions more frequently one because I haven't been doing it. I'm still confused about the, the Zen help and all these, uh, like the mirror, all these web pages that you're using. I'm still getting used to it. And I definitely could do better when that's so me to use them. I'll pass it on to uh, Mitch. Thanks. Um, yeah, uh, to that point, I think there's lots of cool stuff that we've worked on. Maybe not in-house TEs, but things like the 
configuration dashboard and uh, the Prey system and stuff like that. And people are super interested in working with that stuff. And we've already used it to upgrade a couple different gardens. And uh, really shilling, I'll say the, sh the S word, I'm sorry, but um, these things that we built that have proved to be super useful for us and just like getting them out there and, and using them to generate revenue, whether it's the product itself, whether it's consultancy, like we've got so much knowledge and things that we built and uh, I think people would be really interested to pay to get that from us and that would help us fill up our common pool. And I will pass it to Chui, if you can talk. Maybe not. Uh, Mert? Can I talk uh, like in five minutes? Sure. Uh, why don't we pass it to Septi now? Thank you, Manu. Yeah, I mean, I just wanted to raise like, like there are some proposals like we pass it as a community that do they not even say like how they are going to keep accountable to the community. And then I also feel like so many proposals have no clear milestones. Uh, how are they going to use the money? Like clear goals. Uh, yeah, that's the only thing I want to share. I'll pass it to Bea. Why don't we why don't we pass it to Rugadas? Uh, you could clue me into what we're talking about. I came late, so yeah, we're at the um, we're in this finger perspective right now. We're at the part where we talk about what we could do better. So issues, things that we could could have done better on this sprint. I know you maybe took a time off, but I was off for good. most of it. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I mean, you may choose. <laughs> Say something that you feel hasn't well, been addressed. Well, before and after, you know, I, since I've come back, it's it's really I just feel like uh, we we all need to earn, you know, claiming that we're a DAO. You know, um, my whole thing is, uh, are we really decentralized? Or are we just a semi-centralized bureaucracy who's trying to figure out how to to give up power uh, to a broader group of people? Um, <clears throat> in my mind. Uh, you know, we're doing some things good and some things pretty bad. So, um, you know, that's my uh, my general thing. That's why I made the recent graphics uh, that I've been showing around uh, lately. But um, yeah, that's that's really um, hasn't changed really in the time I've been off. So, thanks. All right, thank you, thank you, Russ. And um, I will pass it to Livia now. Yeah, um, yeah. just on that point of bringing more TEs, that, that's the proposal Angela and I are working on. And it would be great if more people have inputs to collaborate on that. We're planning to have something for next week, just gathering a, a few more people. And I think we're running into some like classic coordination failures. Uh, mostly because there's too many people that, I mean, too little people that hold a lot of the understanding working on too many projects. And then um, there's not so much of like a few people that can take the lead on something and really push that forward. And someone that is not leading like 10 things at the same time. And then that's why things go so low and end up falling into the cracks. And that feels, that would be like my priority of looking into that culturally. It feels quite like hard. It feels hard to solve. And I'll pass back to you, Mana. Yeah, I just want to say that was so insightful. I think um, we're all thinking about that, but I hadn't heard anyone. Um, 
quite express it like that. So thank you for that, Livia. Uh, and I will pass it to Merit. Are you ready now? Yes, yeah, sorry. My brother just came in. Uh, we'll so, go ahead. Uh, so I would like to say, like, I think we can sell TE token engineering products and service that can generate value. And also, well, maybe in two or three stewards calls ago, uh, there was a discussion about whether TC should serve a single uh, pro project or it should be advanced in token engineering as a whole. But I mean, wh when I look at the when I look at that question, most of the time when you are actually advancing a project, you are actually advancing a token engineering as whole as well. If if it's an open source project, for example, what when I'm looking for like block science commissioned work or like Curl Labs commissioned work, I learned lots of things about how the commissioned work at the end of the work. Maybe I'm not directly benefiting it, the token engineering of it, but I mean, I think it's a very good public contribution. I think we should consider it. And also about reward system as well. So that's, I think, one thing that I think we can push. And also the thing about coincidence, I think this is from yeah, uh, audits, I totally agree. And I wrote this little criticism about Omega as well. I think we need to be more actively engaged with community and like doing some quote unquote tangible stuff. So these are the things that I would love to help this. And I think okay, everybody well, has hope. Uh, there's still um i mean i don't expect bruce to <laughs> say anything um you may but um i don't think that you're just uh watching us do our thing but i haven't gone yet so i can say that um yeah i uh <clears throat> I mirror what, what Tom is saying about we, we would we would all feel more comfortable. I would uh, once we have some um, some money coming in and not just like uh, not just wrap the exit going out. Uh, so I don't know how I, I'm ambivalent about what other DAOs are doing about uh, allocating a portion of the treasury to speculation and trading. Um, I mean, there are some really good gains out there in crypto. Is there a risk? Sure. Uh, but I mean, I've seen some DAOs, going some price doing like 15% uh, return on investment a month. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, I, it will be something that um, I'd like to discuss later on and, and see how, how the community is feeling about that. But other than that, um, yeah, I think that's my main concerned right now the other things i think they'll tell themselves out but all right well um yeah moving on to actions to improve um we are going to give um let's give i mean what like 10 minutes I'm going to do 10 minutes uh, to work on the action so, to improve. So make sure you feel uh, some of those post-its there. And I will start the time. 10 minutes is a lot of time. Maybe we start with like five, six minutes and see how we're doing. and Because it'll give uh, us a chance to vote and also us a chance to share some thoughts about it too. Cool. Then uh, we'll do five minutes. And I'll start the timer now.
So one more minute left. Hey, that's that's our time. Cool. So, um, I would like to ask Septi, could you read the actions to improve? Yeah, sure. Uh, let me make it bigger. Uh, working group to identify products and services and pitch them to DAOs. Creation of this service uh, task force, it will also be a good opportunity for junior token engineers in our community to sh shadow OGTEs and learn more. Form a financial working group of some sort. Let's get more rent seeking, but with enough stack of respect or MVV. Identify markable TC asset plus one. Pay attention, attention on the work we are all doing and try to collaborate more with initiatives that already started. Ask more often, how are you? Embrace more intentions and distractions. Liberation structures can help with a lot of this. Take a sprint off just to organize and work on streams that already started. So many of the suggestions in this board are already happening. Let's help each other to move them forward. Mutual monitoring on our proposals, use more the forums. Add expected milestones to proposals templates so that it can be used in the audit. Any other steward want to take a turn hosting orientation? Start host, hosting spaces for education. Choose one, max two initiatives to take care of as steward and work on delegating. Call thing good enough. Dashboard or a space for token holders like web or description of things going on that can be done with TC, to TC tokens. Make transparency a priority and make a point to update our issues. Back to you, Manu. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Septi. So now let's move the post-its around to create clusters of similar issues. And while we're doing that, let's uh, let's go ahead and take two stars each. And if we could just put them, um, put one star instead of a bunch of stars, so that it will be easier to know like exactly what action we're taking. Otherwise, we end up having like a like a cluster of actions to take, and our collective attention gets confused. So let's try and um, get our stars on on the issues that we think deserve the, the most uh, attention of the community. And I'm going to give some time for everyone to put their stars on their favorite um, ideas. Is it allowed to use two stars on the same issue? Go ahead and double down, Zip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's 
Since we do have a few minutes, maybe we could spend some time and go around and share some thoughts. I don't know, uh, maybe we, I can, we can ask uh, Chewy if you want to kick off. Um, yeah, go ahead, Chewy. Uh, sorry, I'm in a noisy place and kind of distracted, so I, I think I'll, I'll pass it after now. Uh, maybe to work. Mert, uh, you're yes, muted. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, my internet is like so bad, so I couldn't hear the last parts. I'm sorry. Mom. Yeah, we're just uh, sharing our opinions on the actions to improve what everyone wrote down. So if you have any opinion, uh, we would, would like to hear. Would you like me? I think yeah, we're all yeah. having some internet issues too. My internet just stopped and then started again. Um, maybe I'll I'll just share it then. I just I guess uh, less than a minute. I really think this idea of having a financial working group, you know, sort of keeps coming up. I think we're just missing a champion, uh, somebody that wants to help sort of organize and get that uh, off the ground. But I really think it's something that we would benefit from, like a a, a squad focused solely on. Uh, our financial health in the TEC. Uh, and I'll pass it to uh, um, Zeb. Thank you, Dan. Yeah, I really love the, the idea that someone posted that uh, changing the, the proposal template and adding a milestone in there. I think this is a very little change that would help a lot. Uh, yeah, I'll pass it to Mitch. Um, yeah, I think that we've been talking about it for a while to get some sort of, um, some sort of, uh, finance working group together to just organize all this stuff that we have that's sellable, but nobody is able to really champion it. And maybe we have to hire somebody who's really good at this stuff, um, because it seems like nobody has the bandwidth or expertise to get it going, even though we've been talking about it for a while. Um, and I will pass it to Livia. Thanks. I, I do think there's a lot of things in this board that already are already starting to happen or that conversations already happened. And I feel like there's a lot of this stuff that just falls into the cracks or that then work is started again because someone new is joining so i i think it would be so important if we could identify these things that are already ongoing and see which initiatives need more help like we had at least four meetings to talk about um finances in the tc how to get more teas how to identify products and services there's a lot of material in that already um it would be great if we could organize that and, and maybe that could become the initial setup for a working group. Just feels like, yeah, there is some support missing on continuing to work on something that already started. And I'll pass to um, Bear.
Thank you. Uh, I really don't know what else to add. <laughs> so I'll pass it on to. That's fine. Uh, we're at the we're at the almost at the end of the call. So I want to take the last two minutes to go over our winners, which are forming a financial working group of some sort with uh, four stars and um, add expected milestones to proposal templates so that it can be used in the audit. Those are the two um, ideas or the two notions that we've all decided that we need to put some work into. And I'd like to take the opportunity and ask if anyone would like to um, volunteer to become a champ champion of this or uh, to take this on. So is there anyone who has the bandwidth uh, or the interest to take on these two very important <laughs> things? Please don't pile up. I really like to mention this idea of, I mean, maybe we can we can even solicit the people in the community and see if there's someone in the TC who's interested in helping coordinate, you know, the sort of financial services squad or like financial focused squad. Um, and like Lydia said, we've done a lot of the, a lot of some of, the, a lot of the thinking already. So it's sort of like pulling things together and then having a weekly meeting where we're really focused on that. I don't know if we could, if there's somebody in the community now, or if we can put out like a, on our job board, or you know, I think, yeah, submit a proposal to have to sort of start creating this group. It sounded like Bear was volunteering. That's what I felt. <laughs> Bear, are you volunteering? Uh, uh, we're at the top of the hour and orientation is starting right now so uh, if you need to hop over to orientation please do and if you can join also please do I, I want to add one thing and it's just regarding this financial uh, working group, and I think it also be like considering like we should not duplicate work like in the in the audit. Like we are talking like uh, outflow and inflows, and see how every working group is doing, and also every proposal. So I feel like this financial working group should work more on revenue streams, uh, not so much in like you know the numbers. Like if working group sustainability. Uh, Commons, uh, you know, how much money are we spending? I think all of that is already included in the audit, so we don't need to duplicate work. All right. Well, um, thanks everyone uh, oh, for. Okay. Uh, can I go ahead? Just one last thing. Sure. Yeah. So in two weeks, my school will finish, so I will have some more bandwidth. So I would like to engage with this financial working group and like think around how we can serve services and how can they be more beneficial in TC in particular and in general more T space. So I would love to volunteer, let's say. Cool. Thanks for that. Well, we have two people there. Uh, I think that's, that's a good start. Uh, well, everyone, thank you. Thank you for, for coming to our, our sprint retrospective call and uh, the community call is starting. So, um, communitas call uh, orientation call is starting so make sure to go there it's in the communitas voice channel and uh, if not uh, I'll see you around thank you thanks Manu bye